Hey, howdy, how's it going? To be honest with you, I tried recording the intro for this, but you know, we're just gonna go right back through it. We're buying we're buying the smoke strike right here. Basically, as you can see at the top left, we are out in Malevolon Creek. We are going to be working towards doing this entire campaign solo. How is this gonna be possible? I don't know. I've seen a lot of people saying that you need to stealth in order to do this, and that is what we're going to do. Call-in time is increased by 100%, so it's doubled, and the stratagem codes are scrambled, so I gotta make sure I call in the right shit every time. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this armor, basically, the armor rating actually doesn't matter right now, if you didn't know. Looking at the armor passives that are there at the bottom right, as you can see, some of these change based on what you're wearing. It doesn't really matter for this armor rating number here, as you see, it says 69. For medium armor, it's 100, and it's even higher on heavy armor. There is absolutely no point for me to do that i might not even actually run this but it makes me run the fastest so it's the smartest for me to have i would run this one right here also because it looks really cool but you have a 50 percent chance of not dying to anything that could one tap you which is insane it would just be better if i'd had it for something to let me run faster also i think this is going to be my outfit hold on let me get in some better light i think this is gonna be my outfit as you can see i got the orange you know channel colors i'll have the picture right here pop that up yeah you see that but i'll probably you know the cape will probably stay the helmet might change if they ever do like helmet passives uh, instead of just armor but okay so currently we are going to be launching a rocket we're going to be landing in a place we're going to be doing all that fun shit obviously this is an entire solo run and i'm absolutely terrified but you know that is just what happens so we'll have to exfil from here so i'm thinking we'll probably just you will do a little bit of a loop around i'm not going to complete every single red spot because i don't have the ability to do that that is almost impossible all right we're gonna re be able to resist injury i think that's the best thing for us to be able to run i think the smoke strike will be good we should probably have something like one of these but i think what i'll do is I'm going to try and base what I'm going to be doing off of survivability. So I'm going to have shit that's just going to keep me alive the longest. And I think the easiest way to do that is just by running these few things. I do not know if it'll be the best for me. Like, I could trade some of these out. The mortar might not be as helpful. Yeah, I think the mortar will just get blown up. Well, we'll run an orbital laser at the same time. The shield generator is just to keep me alive. Or not shield generator, but shield pack backpack generator thing. It's just to make it so that I can take a few shots and stim and then it regenerates generates over time think i just spawned on top of a ton of fucking robots i can't see this place is bright as shit am i stuck okay i thought i was stuck okay what we're gonna do is instead of fighting all this shit we're just gonna fucking run away because they already called in a bot drop oh this is where the mission is that makes a little bit more sense okay we're gonna call in an orbital laser then just to help clear this entire fucking area out and we're gonna spawn in all of our shit while we wait so this is probably what's gonna keep us alive let's see all right, here's this area done. Now we're going to run all the way down here. It might be a little bit more difficult, but we're just going for it. If I can solo this entire thing, this will be proof that you can do it. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be unnecessarily hard. Usually I play this with my friends and even then this game is way harder. It's a lot of attention all in one area. So that's kind of what I'm worried about. I don't even think on the harder difficulties that I'll be able to necessarily exfil. It is just that much harder to do it. Like when you exfil, especially on this specific stratagem thing, it will take take millions of years like longer one thing i do have to say is that you know i understand that it's supposed to be really difficult but like on these you know on this hardest difficulty or even a difficulty below the robots can see you through everything they have like insane vision and the same thing with the bugs like it's it's really obnoxious uh and specifically for all of these missions everything just comes towards you for no reason and there's no like thing on my screen or anything that'll say oh you're hidden like if that i guess if that was the case i'd be i'd be a little bit more like oh okay like i'm hidden all right i believe the shotgun is also one of the best guns in the game right now so it's pretty good to have it and that's fucking great Oh my god, this area, this is so bright. I, okay, how the fuck am I able to see? And see, like, these bot drops land, I can't do anything about that. Uh, like, even if I shot the guy, five other things would have been targeted on me. I understand it's supposed to be hard and whatnot. Uh, I can't fucking see. Oh, that is also just as fantastic. That's fucking great. I love that so much. And anyone who's played this game or looked at this game, you know that it is absolutely possible to solo this. But at the same time, it is so unnecessarily hard. This is basically my thing saying that, yes, it it's not possible unless you are given the best luck in the entire game. I have 100%. It takes 100, like not 100 seconds it takes double the amount of time to fucking respawn something in and i have just now wasted two lives i only have five i keep spawning here do i just run away is that is that the plan do I, am i just gonna run away 
Because I don't even think that's going to work. I'll come back for all that shit later, I guess. There's just a lot of things in this game that can one-tap you really easily without you having the ability to necessarily fight back. It's kind of fucking annoying. Am I hating? No. I really like this game. This game is extremely fun. I'm like, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it is it is very fun to play. Okay. So if you're someone who's like, oh man, this guy, you know, he sucks or something like that. Yeah, I do suck. But at the same time, apparently this game isn't meant to be played solo, but it should be. I am someone who is advocating for the solo community. All video games that are, you know, it's co-op or whatever should have it designed so that you can play by yourself because you want to be able to cater. <laughs> Fuck off. Fucking stupid. For all the people saying things like break line of sight and all that shit, it's literally impossible. There is not enough cover, and they also break all of the cover. So, like, I don't understand what some of these people are fucking talking about when they are like, Oh, you just need to, like, be better at the game. You just need to be fucking- you need to be a pro at this game already. It just came out, but be a pro, okay? Oh, this is the one where I need to solve a puzzle. <sighs> There's a tank. I lost. What am I supposed to do here? It's just getting closer, dude! Hi. The tank is on top of- You're literally on top of the console, man. Can you, like, move away? Run away. See? Bounces off. Your bullet should be able to destroy that. Oh, sick. There's a Hulk on the way. They can see me inside the smoke screen. This, this is so- this is so hard. Why is this so- why are there so many of the rocket people that each rocket can one-tap you? Okay. Now we just run. We have to run back all the way over to here. You know, something that I would appreciate, you know, something that Payday does is, yes, it's a harder difficulty, so it is something... I'm getting shot in the back now. Are you shooting through your dick? Oh, thanks, game. You just spawned me on more rocket guys and shit. As I was saying, Payday has this sort of system where you can kind of, like... You know, it's not as difficult. Like, there, it, people wanted it to be even harder because of how easy it was, in a way. But it's like... There was still methods to it. I haven't yet to find anything that's made this remotely easy. There's so many people who are just like, just run around and shoot it. Just run, just run around and shoot shit like, you know, like a pro or something like that. And it's just like, bro, fucking eat a bag of cock. I'm not saying it should be super easy. It shouldn't be so simple where I'm like, man, that was kind of easy. I, I didn't really like that. Just make it a little bit more fun. It, this game is so fun with other people. And yet when you play by yourself, you miss out on like 80% of the game. Okay, now we got to do this. Luckily, there's nothing over here. Okay, I completed over here. Now I have to run. I think that the video is just going to be this specific mission. This is so hard. Like, why? Why? Why is so hard? Huh? Now, I know I made a video about it. You know, this is the thing that I'm constantly thinking. I said solo isn't an option. So many people were like, it is. It's a skill issue, though. So many people were like, you know, it is kind of not really in the greatest spot right now. And they kind of agree. But at the same time, they're like, hey, if it's on lower difficulties, much easier, which I can't agree. You know, lower difficulties, you can complete this shit easily. But at the same time, it's like, I want to play on the harder difficulties so that I can complete, you know, this, like, battle pass shit that they have faster. I don't want to do this same fucking mission over and over and over and over and over. The harder it is, the more interesting it is. I can't fucking do anything with it when it's this hard. I have six stims. They don't regenerate, which maybe that could be something for solo. Like, most of my shit just disappears. Oh, 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 fuck. Yo, I'm never going to exfil with these, but that's awesome. I've actually found so that that's what the super uranium looks like, huh? I don't really know that much about this game. Like there are a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, Helldivers 1. I played it. I know all this shit about. No, nope. that, that's it's the same thing for me when it came to Payday like 2 and Payday 1. Didn't really know that much about it. Just hopped on the train of like, hey, this game looks cool. I'll play it. And then I started having fun with it. That's the same thing for this. I've been having a lot of fun with this game, uh, especially playing with others. I've recorded way more than I've ever recorded in, like, my entire life when it came to this game. I've gotten so many clips that are so funny that, like, I was crying of tears. That doesn't really happen anymore for games. Okay, can- I would rather there just be no lights. Is my brightness in- like, insanely high? Alright, well, the nice part is that nothing's currently trying to, like, fucking destroy me. But as soon as something notices me... Like that douchebag right over there. 
this all goes to hell. I don't understand the proximity in certain things. I think that's something that needs to be worked on. Uh, maybe in some of their mission or like lessons or whatever, like they have a tutorial that kind of may helps you understand that like, hey, this is kind of how it works. This is how you do it. This is how, you know, they detect you. This is how they see you. There's like line of sight, certain things like that. They don't really give you that. It needs to be in the game. If it's anywhere online, that's not helpful to me. It was stressful at first and then it gets super easy. But like, as an example, I wasted two lives because I can't control where I want to spawn. That's something that could be changed. I don't, who in their right mind wants to spawn exactly where they just died. One problem as well when it comes to this map, as you can see down here, I'm like using my little touchpad to, to like look around. You, even if all the red areas are up here, there's still random ass robots all down here that will call in bot drops and just waste your time. It's something that will happen when I'm playing with my friends where we're just like, okay, we should probably leave. Like, we're not g getting anywhere with this. We need to just go. And that is something that, I mean, you know, that's just the part of the gameplay. I like that. I understand it. Oh, sick. There's just a ton of shit on the way. Fuck it. We're using the laser for this. There's too much shit here. Oh my God. Stim, bro. All right, now we're gonna try to get the fuck. Oh my god. See, like, I don't understand. Randomly, everything just decided to come over here. Was it because the noise of the fucking, like, turret or something like that? Like, I think I'm walking towards a scramble or two. I don't think I can get out of here. One thing as well, I think that would be pretty helpful when it comes to just the robots in general. I think based on difficulty could be something where they change how accurate they are. Some of these robots are really fucking accurate and i get that they're robots whatever but at the same time it's just like can it feel like you know like a bit of stormtrooper aim they happen to hit you every now and again you know shit like that because some of these guys just have the ability to instantly kill you and that is really boring a lot of the time it is really boring it is very it, it really turns you off of the game uh because you're just like oh okay i'm dead now i can't do anything about that i am just stuck being dead and i'm really hoping that this is Oh, no, it's not out of range. I have to do this if I want to be able to call anything in to help me here. If I don't exfil, I at least completed the mission, and the mission is technically over, but I would like to be able to keep all my shit. All right, we got that armed. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God, please, please go away. Okay, the faster we call this in, the faster we can leave. Okay, that's not what I wanted to call in. Let's make sure I actually look at it. Okay, we'll deal with those. So those are dead now. That makes this also just as easy. We have two shield generators. We can probably go off of both of those. Oh, sick. That's a tank. No, 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 no. Okay, the shield kind of helped, but there's a lot of shit shooting me too fast. Oh, my God. Oh, the shield doesn't work that fast. Okay, fuck. I'm about to have an orbital laser. I just need to be close enough. Just, just let me stim. Just let me stim. I will do this. I am committed. I have my samples, man. I'm fucking getting out of here with the damn sam- I called in a laser just a second ago. Or was that the smoke screen and I ran out of the lasers? Oh my god, please don't tell me I ran out. Because that would fucking suck. Oh my god. That would really suck if I just ran out right there. All right, there is a chance. There is a chance. I don't. I literally have like almost nothing else to call in to be able to keep myself alive here. It is all based on chance if something runs up or not. Why is this so fucking hard? Who fucking knows, dude? I need to bait around this tank. I, I can't do anything if this tank is here the whole time. Okay, please, please work in my favor. Please work in my favor. Please work in my favor. Please work in my favor and not against me. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Okay, it's here. It's here and my samples are up there. Please spawn me where I can get on top. Okay, there's a spot where I can run around. Uh, there's. I, I remember this spot over here. This is where I ran up the first time. I can get up here and grab the samples and leave. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. There is a chance. The question is, though, is where the fuck are the samples? Oh my god, they're right here. Grab them. Grab them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. Victory was never in doubt. It was in doubt. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. Hardest difficulty, I just completed that mission. Now, the one mission that's impossible is rescuing the civilians. That's, you cannot do that by yourself. So if you get that and you're playing solo, you might as well just fucking call it quits. Oh man, okay, well. I think that's going to do it for this video. I honestly did not expect to even do this. That was my first try. Never, I've never tried that before. That is so unnecessarily difficult and the amount of bullshit that could have killed me is insane try that at your own free will if you don't want to don't 
don't even try it. And if you have done something like that that's super crazy, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' feedback on this video as well. And yeah, that's that's going to do it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe just to let me know that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you are this far in the video, you know, that means that you watched a good amount of it, obviously, because it's the end. I need to get my friends on to do these ones. I'm not doing this again. I ain't gonna say too much. Winning, speaking on that hot shit. Fuck the police.